we're looking at yesterday. So as we check out satellite image, as you can imagine, there's not a whole lot to look at precipitation wise. There's some showers there in the northern extent of Lake Huron that are moving over into Ontario, but we've got dry conditions over top of us that are going to last at least for the first part of the weekend. The question still remains, what's going to happen on Saturday? Now, high pressure will start to move out here in the short term. And as it does, that's going to allow that next front to move in. Winds are also going to pick up a little bit more on Saturday, probably not as brisk as what we went through uh, earlier in the week, but we will be seeing some increase in the winds. So the placement of that front is going to be uh, heavily dependent on where we see the showers. Right now, it looks like probably south zone, maybe east side will be the best bet, and it should be the evening hours. So if you've got outdoor activities for the first two thirds of the day, uh, things should still have the green light. Sunday will be dry. Better chances of rain as we get into Monday and Tuesday. You can see that front's got a little bit more moisture with it. And then once we get past uh, midday on Tuesday, uh, most of us are going to be in the clear. Otherwise, temperatures tonight are going to be on the mild side, at least in the metro zone. But because those winds are going to be relaxing, we'll see a little bit more of a wider spread. 48 in the city, 46 for an official low temperature there at Romulus. Lows in the south zone tonight will range anywhere between 41 in Onstead and 44 out in Monroe. Out in the west zone, will we see any 30s for overnight lows? Well, at least in parts of the area, that could be an issue around Ann Arbor. It's usually one of our cool spots, but mostly it's going to be low 40s to finish things out tonight. And lows in the north zone, north of M59, will be in the low to mid 40s as we get started on Friday morning. So the 70s do come back as we get into the afternoon and it becomes breezy, 15 mile per hour sustained winds, but we'll see some gusts a little bit higher than that. And that seven day outlook will take us into next week. And notice that all of these numbers are still technically above average. But once we get into Friday of next week, Devin, mm -hmm. 